AC Variety takes pride in showcasing the stories that the big networks have no interest in telling. This is one of those stories. Is this on? Is this on? Ooh. Oh, it's on? We, uh, no, we caught up. I can hear now. Right here in Tinley Park, Vol Vol Visual Arts Center, it, it's just an artist haven. And we just ran into an astute artist that's known, I was going to say in the Midwest, but way beyond that, across the country. What? That what kind of an artist? Whatever. Oh, uh, man. I say, look at that face. Does it need recognition? No. Would you, you buy know. a used car from this man? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I, I, I can't do it. Okay. I think it's, I think so, it's backwards. Here we go. Yes. There we go. Okay. We go. One, uh, one more twist for posterity. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Okay. As you can see, oh. we can't afford one. We have to use a flag that rotates. It's the budget. Okay, so tell us about... So this is the Boat Visual Art Center. It's it the sure most is. fabulous place in the world. If okay. you'd like to see art and have some culture. There's, we got culture here. There's all sorts of people you could meet, you could talk to. Does this man exemplify everything. culture? Culture. Okay. I mean, well, you could meet me too. That's, you know, it doesn't... It's worth the either. trip just for that. It's just a flower. Um, but you see all sorts of artists and you see things and you go, wow, this is really cool. And you can talk to the people who make it and, and they're cool people. And you don't have to buy nothing, but you could if you want. And they got hot dogs, there's music over there, there's clowns somewhere. Pfft, I wouldn't I count wouldn't on that. I wouldn't know where, where to anyway. begin that. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Uh, the music over there, who, who, who are some of your performers today? Um, the guy over there now and then maybe somebody there later. <laughs> I think that's who it is. Playing probably an acoustic guitar. This guy guitar. that's over here now, he was here once before. He plays really good music. He, uh, um, and of know, course you guys remember him, right? So. Oh well, yeah. I want to say his name was, um, I heard it this morning. Matthew, well, uh, maybe? Matthew. Guy, maybe, guy, maybe Matthew. Maybe Matthew, maybe. Yeah, a guy playing an instrument. The guy singing. with the guitar over there that's playing right now. Yeah. That's right. Which yes. we'll have to obviously oh, fill in man, the blanks yeah. and go by and talk to him. Fill in the blanks. I got an album by them. Yeah, how about that? I do, that's true. So I heard you've really been busy. You've been recruiting people throughout the downtown area of Tinley to come and visit us oh, here. Oh man, I've been at the farmers market all morning. Holy cow, it was my farmer store. I mean, <laughs> my whatever. Uh, yes, no, it's uh, it's fabulous over there. And there's lots of people out walking around. Tinley Park's a great place to kind of hang out. The benches are out. People are. Uh, sure, it's a sure. beautiful day. In case it sure you didn't enough notice. is. And uh, people are all, look at she's got cool things on her head. I, I mean, see that. That's, that's, that's the right. kind of people you could meet here. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, right. So yeah, no, this is uh, like I said, lots of culture. Yes. And, uh, yes. Uh, did, I always love the purple tails jacket. Kind of I think it did a lot success. for you. That's what yeah. I always say. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take the advice of this gentleman whose name is Kazoo. Kazoo, and take a further look around. Stay with us. Okay, as we're walking through this beautiful art festival and there's so many mediums of art being displayed here at the Vote Visual Arts Center, we ran across some knockout stuff and it caught my eye as I went by and we're going to talk more about the artist and meet the artist. And how are you doing today? You are? Shelby. I'm Shelby Starr. Shelby Starr. And we said a little off-camera thing. She's somehow related to Ringo Starr from the UK. <laughs> we're, we're not sure the relationship <laughs> related, yet, but, <laughs> but, but you know, it, it gets a little mileage and free publicity once in a while, right. so what the heck. Shelby, how long have you been at this craft? Um, so I started fluid painting in January, so not too long. I'm still wow. discovering my style. Uh, okay. It's a little chaotic, but... Okay, and this is why I was drawn to it. You used the word chaotic, but I thought attention-getting. Um, tell us a little bit about this type of painting you said fluid style I mean is it is there a lot of artists out there doing this or are you so I feel like it is on the rise but okay. basically this is acrylics mixed with the medium so the acrylics actually come out more fluid so yes. that's why it's called fluid painting or pore painting and there's a couple different ways you can do it you could do a dirty pour which is like okay can you point it out so this one right here is a dirty pour okay and basically you just add, you mix some colors and you put it in a cup and you lift the cup up, tilt it, you let it do its magic and somehow it turns out like beautiful chaos. Or, uh, really? Yeah. The piece next to it in the shades of green and gray, I particularly like that too. Yeah, that's one of my your, favorites too. Your choice of colors is, is, is very, very nice. Thank you. I like uh, the contrast. Now this was inspiring. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing 
I'm seeing a, a Colorado mountain range at night. I don't know. It's whatever what, you want it to be. That's art, right? Okay. Yeah, thank you. I, <laughs> now I don't feel silly, you know? So, and uh, now this collection down here, were these six intended to go together or? So uh, these three are a little set. Okay. Um, we oh, use, so it's sets of three. I'm sorry. Yeah. I think it looks best when you have them all together. I agree. They were all the same color scheme, and it all reminds me of like an ocean because if you look up close, you can see, in my opinion, it looks like a little manta ray and little sharks right here. Okay, you got me there. Yeah. yeah. And then this one looks like the ocean with the little moon. But okay. that's the beauty of art. You just make shapes. And exactly. Yeah. And, and if a future person that wants to buy a piece, if they see something in it you, you don't see, it's fine, buy it, you know, so <laughs> love it, you know, yeah. put it on the wall at home, you know, it's yours. And last thing, we, we talked briefly off camera a few minutes ago about this particular vertical piece, and uh, give us a little inspiration and history on this one real fast. So I made this one, it was probably one of the first few pieces I made. Okay, so it's an early piece. <laughs> it's an okay. earlier piece. It's got a little rustic feel, I wanted it to look kind of choppy, not fully complete. Mm -hmm. um, it was my first white painting, so I was really trying to get some cells. It didn't work out that well, but for some reason it's still one of my favorite pieces. And that's I, why I it's go here with you on, on that. display. Okay. I love it. <laughs> and we love it too. Thank so you. anyhow, thanks for taking the time to speak with us. Thank uh, you. Shelby, best of luck every time you show your art and in uh, future endeavors. Thank you so much. Okay. Stay with us. We're gonna be looking at some more stuff right here at the art fair at the Boat Visual Arts Center in Tinley Park, twenty nineteen. Exploded at the tree. We'll get started. Well, you know what? Okay, again, uh, you go to a, an art fest like this, it's it's a smorgasbord of, of, of beauty and art, and uh, from one booth to the next, you find something breathtaking and we truly found something here that we wanted to share with you. And first of all, we're going to meet the artist in your name. My name is Jeff Tyson. Jeff, I was looking at, uh, it would be okay to call them acrylics? Yes, sir. Acrylics. Okay. Um, just, you have multi-subjects out here from right. nature to, to some serious pieces of some architecture to, I'm looking at a, an old farm uh, house, uh, barn and stuff. Uh, let's go to what we were talking about off camera, and that would be the, uh, you did a particular piece of the Notre Dame Cathedral, and as, as we know, Jeff, that's been in the news lately, you know why. What was your motivation to do this piece? It just seemed like a very historic event uh, for a very historic building, and I just thought I'd try and capture it as best as I could. And, and you certainly did, you, you're off the top, and today, as, as your potential uh, fans and clients come through here and look through your booth. Is there much conversation about the Notre Dame piece? Do oh they... yeah, many people have been pointed out. Okay, kind uh, kind of can understand how and everything else. And if we can move over to, I'm going to step this way. Uh, some other pieces I particularly like. Again, sundown is always great for me. Surf is even better <laughs> when you have a crashing wave like this. Uh, is that in your comfort zone to, 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 to capture stuff like this? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I always like the color. and Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I love the way you have the the color of the sundown tra transcending through the curl of the wave. It just, oh, yeah. It's real. It's depth of field. You can actually, I'm going to use, I'm going to sound corny. I can, I can hear that. He's being corny. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. Anyhow, we're going to move on. Uh, wildlife. Kind of loving that too, uh, especially with the fall foliage in the background. Oh, yeah. uh, always been a, a special piece for you? Yeah, I've always liked fall. It's one of my favorite okay. seasons. Same here so, too. And so I thought I'd capture that. I was going to say this one down here exemplifies yeah. it too. Uh, again, the contrast with that fall sky uh, and the leaves on the tree is just is just awesome. And I, as long as we're in the neighborhood, this is very interesting. Right. What what was the feel on that? Oh, I just did that before uh, Halloween last year. <laughs> okay. What to do a good Halloween picture? So yeah, and it, and it, it definitely is. It definitely you walk by and you get a sudden shiver, and especially that candle, even down to the flow of wax. I'm mm. I'm digging it. You know? Oh yeah. So how many years, Jeff? Have you been at this? Uh, I've been doing this pretty much my whole life. Wow. 
Wow. Since I can hold a crayon. <laughs> yeah, really. And you know, that speaks of your craft and, yeah. and your vision. So uh, when you do shows like this uh, and, and, and you get compliments from people and stuff like that, how does that make you feel? Oh, it's always really good. It's really good. Okay. And with that, I'm going to... I want to look one more, you know, I mentioned it earlier, but uh, we were kidding around laughing, but we're going to ask the, the camera guy to go to Mona Lisa over oh, there, yeah. and I had asked <laughs> earlier, is she, is she smiling or is she frowning or is she just having a moody day? I, I believe she's halfway there, halfway she's to the smile. halfway Mona Lisa. This has been argued for what, how many years? Oh, oh, a few centuries. A few centuries yeah. now, so the mystery is still there and Jeff didn't. Jeff didn't go either way on it. He's still he's on that half and half piece on it. That's, that's the second time I've done that. Mona Lisa. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. Have like, you ever have what? you ever had a commit? I mean, has someone asked you to do one? Or? Uh, I, it's the first one sold. Okay. Okay. At a different art show. Okay. But yeah, occasionally people try to get things commissioned. Sure, and I would I would think I would think so too with your uh, artistic ability. Yeah. It, would, it would be just a beautiful piece to have in your home. So. Anyhow, at this point, best of luck every time you, you have a show and your future endeavors. I'm going to yeah, grab you. a hand. Thank Jeff, you. it's been a pleasure to meet nice you to today. Okay, walking up on uh, some really cool stuff here, and Hidden House is no exception. We're gonna find a little bit of a little bit more about the artist and the artwork, and you are. My name's Savannah. Savannah, we're all smiles today, but I'm really impressed with Thanks. all the different ways you have got your art and your message out there. Kind of tell us what's on the table. So I have everything from prints. I started out doing acrylic painting, but I okay. mainly do watercolor now. I've got my pins. I started my Etsy shop doing um, pet portrait pins of people's pet rats. That's a clever so, idea, actually. Yeah, it's about to blow Is over. That, okay. Yeah, we were speaking of the wind <laughs> earlier. The wind has its own mind today, so get ready to... Yep, and then I've um, got some wildlife pins up there. I've got some stick stickers and prints, like I said, and then some necklaces. Basically, a bit of everything. Now I was going to say, when you come to a show like this, how do you know what to prepare for, what your clients are going to really like and be interested to buy? Yes. You know, it's hard. It's a guess, right? Yeah. So it's my first time doing, like, an art fair. I normally oh, okay. sell on Etsy, and I mainly just stick to, like, custom pins, so I'm right. not used to making items beforehand. So it's basically just guessing. Okay. I've gone off of, like, what's most popular online so far, and, yeah. It's basically just like a guess and the learning no, experience. No, and, and like you said, you have a nice, you're throwing a bunch of stuff out there. It's nice looking stuff with bites, bites, what doesn't, doesn't. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, your experience, though, for your last question, too, because I know you're busy, <laughs> but uh, your experience for doing, first time doing an art fair like this, uh, what do you think? Do you like it? Are you going to continue it as a, in the future? And yeah, I like it. I think I'm going to do some more art shows from Great. now. Yeah, so I, found, I like it. So. Uh, years ago, I used to do photography and, and, and under these circumstances and I found that a lot of times uh, the potential person that's going to buy your art a lot of times wants to talk to the artist and sometimes you have something in common yeah. and that conversation sometimes is really cool mm -hmm. so uh, yeah now you can experience that so. <laughs> yeah it's cool seeing like just seeing people walk off with my art yes I'm used to just like throwing it in a mailbox yeah so right cool, and like, you never know people, where's like, it going like, you know yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty, it's okay Nice seeing it in person. <laughs> it is. Uh, uh, you know, there's one thing, okay, I'm going to say this, it's old school, but online's cool, get a lot of volume that way, but there's mm -hmm. something about holding a piece in your hand. Mm -hmm. It's real, it's right yep. in front of you. You get, you get the feeling off uh -huh. of it because it's in your hand. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing that can duplicate that, yeah. in my opinion. But That's, you know. I agree. Okay. Yep. Okay, so Savannah agrees, so at this time we can conclude the interview. <laughs> Anyhow, best of luck with all your future endeavors. And great looking stuff here. I, I know you're going to be a success. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Hi. 
by your self-conscious, right? Do you like me? you're thinking, but I'm not going to do that either, so. I know. It's not that big of a deal, really, honest. You just balance and don't fall down. It's easy. <laughs> the lonely the flower. lonely flower. <laughs> That's me. That's what they call me. Okay, earlier we uh, we heard a really cool cover song by Johnny Cash, and uh, quite, a, quite a crowd around this gentleman, and I figured, you know what? When, when there's a brief moment, I ought to come back and talk to him. And uh, let me, I got his business card. I'm going to pull out Griffin Crowder. Hey, Hi. great to meet you. Great to hear your music. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Griffin Crowder. I am uh, an acoustic musician. I live in Lincoln Park. Wow. And uh, I like playing music. Okay. <laughs> I'm impressed. I mean, you had. Uh, well, I don't know about that. Uh, well, yeah, take it, take it for a compliment. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm not good at it, so I'll take and it. And I might add, everybody that was listening to, uh, to Griffin today was impressed. But uh, I know you're in a hurry because you're on your way to a, a gig up in River North. But how long have you been at this craft and, and the music business? Uh, I've been gigging for probably about 10 years now. Wow. Uh, full time for about four. Okay. I think it's four. Three. Three, in three years. Okay. Can't count right now. And is it like fulfilling the dream or uh, has the times been some hard times for you? Or? Um. A little bit of everything. I, it's I can imagine. Ups, downs, happy, sad, everything in between. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, I'm happy to be doing something that I love doing for a living. You know, so that, I and that's the bottom line, really. I it is. agree with you on that. And we talked a little bit off camera before about uh, being able to sometimes, in in your gig or in your act or in your in your show, kind of wedge in a maybe an original now and then. Mm -hmm. You ever have the opportunity to do that, or do you just stay cover right now? Well, of course. I mean, there's always the opportunity to slide one in. 
honestly, half the time people don't even notice. <laughs> right. They'll come up, they'll be like, oh, I think I've heard that before. Who's that by? And you're like, uh, actually, that was one of mine. Oh, okay, cool. That is, but it's so nice. Yeah, though, that's you it. Got I mean, a shout out on it. Yeah, you know? that's, that's the way to do it. So. And, and uh, last question to follow up on that vein of thought. Uh, have you ever, uh, like, recorded some stuff, uh, maybe in a limited or distrib- distribution or something? Yeah, actually, um, I have an album out it's, i actually just play guitar on it uh the band's called she killed in ecstasy it's, uh, we have it on cool, vinyl cd all that no stuff kidding, vinyl. yeah yeah so uh, but uh, yeah i do only guitar work on that yeah but still hey yeah yeah but um yeah it's still fun it's still fun making it and stuff like I that but the so. studio thing was kind of oh, cool it was the crazy you know? it was it was crazy that's it i don't yeah. know it was fun it's really rewarding being able to hold a piece of artwork that you had a Yes, you had a, absolutely, uh, yeah. absolutely, and you never know when a guy like me is going to come up and ask you about it. And, you know. Yeah, exactly. But anyhow, I'm going to grab a hand. Right. Great show. Thank you very much. Uh, great, great. Uh, good luck on future endeavors, especially the gig you got. You're, <laughs> we're, we're delaying them right now. But anyhow, thanks. Great time. Thank you very much. All right, stay with us. And well, we fly. What I do, girl. This is what I do. You know? you walk in on this? I mean, really. You get exactly what you pay for. Right. right. And if you don't like it, you can get your money back. Anybody? Just go right ahead. Excuse me, sir. I. I thought I saw someone that looked uh, distinguished looking young lady that was just standing in, in front of you Ooh. next to you. Oh, the, uh, fancy, you? the fancy gallery director lady? That would be the one. Do you know how She's can hot you? Too, isn't she? Yeah, well, you know, well, I don't didn't say, want, don't I don't say. say anything. But could you perhaps do an oh, intro, oh, an intro for wanna, me? Because uh, I'd like to talk to her. Would you like to meet her? Well, I can if, make it's, this if it's okay, I can make it if it's okay, I I get I can make this happen. I uh, get a nose for things like this. Do I look okay? You look yeah, you're right. I mean okay. I mean a little there you go. I mean, we can't look. Like, we can't all look <laughs> like this. Not like, everybody looks. No, nah, I mean this is the man can wear all right, clothes. Let me, let me see if I can. Uh, can he really? Do you want me to walk over there with yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, this is he's gonna hook us up right uh, now. Miss Hot uh, Gallery Director Lady, that's Julie Decker. Hi, uh, Julie Decker. Is, is that her name? I, Julie I, Decker. This is Julie me, Decker. I, 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 that's okay. Oh, that's I, okay. I asked this gentleman if he could. I heard that you were the gallery director, and I had asked this gentleman. I would introduce him that, to, so, to, to do know, the introduction. You know, is it go. possible we may talk to you and get you out from underneath the awning? <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Wow. okay. Um, is uh, before before I ask you a few questions, yes. is this your publicist or your? Uh, yeah, this is my agent. Is that your this agent? Is my oh, agent. okay. Yes. I didn't know that. Kazoo, oh, I, I didn't know that you were, I thought you were uh, perhaps a publicist or something. <laughs> I'm a marketing or publicist. Wow. And mostly uh, uh, I'm security. security. Yeah. Hard, yes. uh, Julie, when you got a marketing guy like this, how can you miss? He brings uh, him in. I, just gets I attention right there. I'm just a backup, I swear. Really? Yeah. Which brings us, Miss Backup, but yeah. Miss ba- Gallery Director, this is a great success here. We've been walking mm-hmm. around, talking with artists, talking with people listening to the music yeah i'm so glad you could come yes how did all this come together i want to say this is our 10th maybe Um, no kidding yeah at least our 10th if not our 11th i'm not sure we'd have to ask aaron uh we are the tinley park park district and it's 10th or 11th really we started out uh hoping that it would be a good idea and it just grows every year and we've got some really wonderful local artists and they come out and they give it a shot and there's all kinds of things. I mean, there's a lot of really creative people, so it's good selection and you know of, of original artwork for people who appreciate that sort of thing. Great place to get a gift for somebody, you know. Or if you like, a lot of people like handmade things. You know, we're we're a little bit up to here with the store bought stuff, you know, and and it's nice to find places where you can get a, a handmade item. You mean that there's nothing imported here from a remote area? Nothing. Of the world. <laughs> nothing. Not a thing. No. So no. totally homegrown the artists. Totally the people homegrown. are imported. <laughs> yeah, yes. Homegrown artists and uh, yeah. Okay. What I'm particularly impressed else I'm losing my voice. Particularly impressed the various mediums of art, from jewelry to quilts to some beautiful photography. Yes, uh, the original paintings, the we've original got watercolors, acrylics, watercolors. Yes. Uh, 
do they just knock on your door? Or do you kind of seek out to try to get well, some of the artists? Well, we call for artists, and we do that each year, and, you know, a lot of the regulars come back, so okay. it's really nice. Okay. And they build on everything that they do, and it changes up every year. And, you know, so a lot of these people do other shows as well. Not all of them. A lot of times this is a great first show for people because we're not particularly expensive. Okay. You know, a lot right. of art fairs, it costs a lot to be in it. Sure. We're not that art fair. Okay, especially so, if you're on the near north side, perhaps. Or, right. Uh, on, so, uh, so these West people Loop, almost guarantee will all make their money back, their entry fee, and not an issue. And that, you know, that is very important, having... It's a lot sold, of work. Yes, having sold woodcrafts before and my photography before. Yep. A lot of times you break even. Right. I mean, you have a great you time. Hope. You were hoping. Yeah, you, you hope. Right. Uh, you enjoy the people and exactly. you enjoy you the enjoy experience. Exactly. You enjoy the people. And that's what I used to. But if you can bring some money to, home, right? That that's, sure helps. That helps. <laughs> yeah. yeah so. so anyhow, you sent this. You said last question because I know you're busy, but. You said this is the 10th annual one. So obviously, this is something you're going to keep going forward. Oh, definitely, with. definitely. As long as people love doing it, we're doing it. Okay. Always a nice day. It's wonderful, yeah. And we have Always our reception nice today day. as well yes. for my June exhibit. I have uh, that'll be starting in a few minutes, and okay. uh, I've probably got 40 artists work inside as well for the month of June. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we've got. They're starting to show up, so okay. uh, I'll be. I got to put my food out and, my, and all that. But okay, uh, so you have actually the for the artist show inside. You have. A, what would you call it? A oh, the opening? reception? Yeah, reception. today is our yes. opening reception for that. Okay. We just do it in conjunction with this because wow. it really brings a crowd of people together. So there's together. an art reception going on on the inside. There's an art fair going on on the outside. You have there's a, a jazz oh, band yeah, setting jazz up band right now. In the gazebo. Jazz band. There's clowns around here. The there's new no. quartet. There's a, you guys, a, if you a get any truck over there, there's sound on what them. else could you okay. want? I know. This yeah. is the best place. Uh, we always have our uh, one of our favorite bands, the uh, Nuclear Jazz Quartet. Some of them are nuclear physicists. That's why it is Quartet. I'm not <laughs> missaying that. Um, but yeah, they're wonderful. They're one of our favorites. People want them back all the time, and they're kind enough to keep coming back. So if you guys are around at all, you'll get to hear yeah, a little we, uh, bit. Yeah, we met with uh, Griffin earlier. The oh, yeah. Wasn't he wonderful? Great guy. Did I tell you his name is Griffin? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's raining that that confetti old... again. Oh. Was that... Griffin Crowder. I didn't want to get it wrong. For some Excellent. reason, it won't okay. stick, so I put it there. Some people put notes in their phones, other handwriting no. notes. I'm not, Literally, I'm not, I'm not very techy. Handwritten. She's not a slave to the phone. No. 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 Although I can walk around like this now and look at yes, it. Yes, right? and with no phone, wow. which is going to be in it. That's really She's cool. often, I've, been, I've seen her text on the palm of her hand before, too. It's oh, kind yeah. of unusual, but whatever. Talent. Yeah. Hello. We, uh, <laughs> A? Anyhow, I want to thank you for taking the time out. Oh, I know you got to put your here. reception together. Yes, I do. And I want to thank you, sir, as as, as the public relations guy That's for this right. young lady, no, um, to having only made the introduction. Personal protection. That's all. Julie, what can I say? Uh, good luck on every future thank future you. endeavor you do here. You knock it out of the park. Thank uh, you. Both of you, actually, with what you bring to this uh, vote visual arts People museum. People love art. They really do, and there's not a lot of places to go for it. So yeah. we, it's all Julie. And it's all so, Julie. Yeah, please stop in and see us here no. at the Vote Visual Arts Center once in a while, because every month they have a different show. You got it. So it's always different. In uh, June, today, July, August, and September, have live music on Friday nights. So yeah. can't beat that. Yeah. You come okay. out on our lovely lawn. Bring your stuff. Lovely chair. Yes, and <laughs> your cool. things to imbibe, <laughs> and uh, enjoy the evening. So, okay. thanks again for coming. Absolutely, and thank you for I, taking I the time. All right. Julie yeah. Decker, folks, Bye. somebody you should know. And Kurt. Almost the three stooges. Okay, as we're walking through this art fair, and I, I know I often start some interviews like this, but there's so much different mediums here, and you walk by and something just blows you away, something just like, wow, what an art. This is what I found here, me personally, and we're going to find out more about the artist, and you are... Rose, hi. Rose, hi. Listen, the, well, we'll just start with the camera. We just opened up on the, the old Marshall Fields building with the with the beautiful clock and the ornate work. First of all, describe your medium of art there. And, uh, uh, pencil and eraser. No kidding. Yeah. Okay. It is gorgeous, the depth of feel, the feeling of every edge. Uh, I, oh, I just love Life it. Life drawing. Yes. Where I drew from life, I can't do this from photographs. Okay, that was going to be my next question. Do you are you on location or are you right? Wow, wow. There I am at work. Wow, look at that. Some Rose, an artist, you're artist student, student took my picture and gave it to me. Wow. Yeah. To to initially get some of these pencil and eraser drawings going, um, how long 
do you have to be on location like that? Do you just do you um, till completion, or do you just get some right. general ideas? Well, close to completion. Um, take it home, and everything's been sketched in and darken this and brighten it and make this stronger and pale that. You know. Yeah. Love it. Uh, Otherwise, again, go to work. Just go out there and get on the streets. You know, working. I noticed you packed together some. Uh, are they cards, uh, for instance? Right. Okay, and, and you've got stationery, and you've gotten some ionic locations uh, in the downtown area of Burkhoff's, uh, various L stops, uh, just recognizable places, skylines. I should pull out some more. Okay, you know what? She's gonna. This is this is a treat, folks. She's gonna pull out some random stuff. Uh, no, really appreciate it. Uh, there's there's so much to digest here. Check this out. I'll try to dig out. You know, when you first pulled that out, I thought that was like, I didn't get a good look at it. I thought it was like one of those stone walk up buildings on Astor Street or something downtown. Or um, It's not, it's, but it, that it's, was uh, the feel it had. Yes, it, you're absolutely right. Chicago yeah. Theater, we're on that right now. And here's another one coming out. The Walker Branch Library. Wow. In, uh, Walker Branch Library. Ah, and we have our little artist just showed. The Delaware Building. Beautiful, the Delaware Building. That's the uh, yeah, corner from the courthouse downtown, but what are they, the Gerson Building? Or? Well, anyways, you know the court. You know, yeah. Downtown. Okay, wow. Again, your perspectives, your angles, the, the, the street you decide to draw down. Blown away, blown away. If I can ask, how many how many years have you been at this beautiful art? Um, More than you like to say, or <laughs> yeah, since about 1975. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm impressed. So uh, somebody, the ladies, the, you know, were giving a luncheon for the neighbors who was moving, and would I go sketch her house? They'd gift it to her. Okay. So I did. And I got paid. So you're so. doing some architectural sketching on on demand, sort of. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then it and just evolved the, from there. The thing is, these models. They sit still, they always show up. I don't have to pay them. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. So for the I'm, most I'm part, these it. buildings are always there. Not always, you know, they get torn yeah, down, you know, but. But you just saved it, <laughs> and, and, you know, in memory. Hey, let's, before I walk away, uh, can we get into some okay, of the good. color medium you have here? Yeah, uh, I got a couple more of them. They're bad, I got, I should have them. Now, this is, uh, I, I want to make it. Oh, I was just going to say oil. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was and acrylic or oil. It's all prints. So this is scratch. So that's okay. It's just display. Yeah. You know. But it's nice. I, this is the nature stuff, the rolling hills. I think we've all been in this location before for some reason. I don't know. What's Mark happening? of Court, uh, the parking lot? Yes. Yeah. That's moon number nine. Okay. I was okay. trying to make, you know, the Highwayman, that poem? Yes, okay, the I got gotcha. you. The ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas, you know. So okay. that's moon number nine, and I have not got it yet. Moon okay. number six wins. Okay. We're looking for moon six right now, and we're yeah. going to pull it out. Oh, you're right. You're absolutely so right. So far, that's the winner, you know. Okay, this is interesting, because without the perspective of anything on the ground, it's strictly a sky shot. Right. Look, look at the, I'm, I'm feeling a depth of field from where that moon is and then coming to, coming oh, good, to me. Good, no, really, I am. You know? Uh, nice work. That fish eye lens? That's, yes. That's something that I got to work on, yeah. Yeah. Over here, this is wrong. This part of the sky was really up here. Okay. And as you come down, which uh, I think that shows very good. As you, as you come down to the hot sky, the clouds get, you know, more skinny and on right, an angle, right. and it not get that in here, because I well, then I wanted to put the ground, you know, so it right. ran right into the sky, which was really up here. All this should have, you know, tapered into. No, but I, again, I like what you did with the ground too, because you used the ground lights, and then you showed the way the light sprays onto the area below, and it gives it that mood, you know, that. That, that flavor. Good. So I'm doing Yeah, I didn't worry about it. I just I wanted my ground. <laughs> and the la and the last thing before we let you go, this is off camera I was mentioning because it kind of reminded me of my youth, the transistor radio, the chilled Pepsi uh, on the rocks, and give us the give us a quick history on that. This is interesting when you told me where you did this and, and for what purpose. In my uh, high school art teacher's basement, she put us up painting 
work, you know, school nights in her basement. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And, and she just taught, taught us how to paint, how to wash our brushes, how to be clean and don't make a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Foremost, right? Yeah. Well, Rose, thank you so much for your time and sharing your art with us. Uh, your your fans, uh, I'm sure, of this art will love to love this little perspective we just did. So, best of luck every time and every venture you have showing your art. It's it's thank really you. really good. All right. Thank you. You guys have a good time. Too. Thank you so much. Two, oh, two, three, four.
Okay, we've run across artists upon artists that are just knocking it out of the park. Ran across a photographer here, I'm gonna introduce you to him in a minute. His stuff, is simple stuff, signage, captured at night, captured in the most moody way. He's an awesome photographer. Carl, how you doing today? Good, how are you? Okay, and, and to boot, I recently found out you're in the design business too? Yeah, I'm a graphic designer also. Awesome. Um, some of the work you have on display at, at this art fest today, uh, but we'll stand from here and talk about it a little bit, but it ranges, I love, I love the old old school neon signs. You don't see that many of them anymore. Yet you captured the night exposures just beautifully. Do you like that? I love that it. Stuff? Yeah, I love taking the time to take the image. Because you can get, depending on your exposure, you get so many different variations of what that one image could be. Sure. Uh, out there in the greater Chicagoland area, for that matter, the Midwest, I don't know how you roll and how you travel, but is there any old movie marquees still out there that are... Uh, yeah, you have the Music Box Theater in Chicago. It's no okay. longer uh, a theater. It's a, like a venue. Right. But they still use the uh, marquee, like how it used to be. Sure. And there's a uh, the Lakeview Theater. I think that's what it's called, up in uh, Park Ridge or Oak, Oak Park, one of the two. I can't remember which one exactly. I remember years ago when I was more steadily into photography, uh, uh, the old LaGrange Theater on LaGrange Road in LaGrange, Illinois, I don't know if their marquee is still up, but I did have I did take a series of night fix, pictures there, yeah. and uh, that was I got a lot of compliments on that work. It was good, as as your work has blown it out too. From from uh, all different kind of venues, the da jazz clubs and uh, uh, historical architectural uh, stuff, down to uh, custom cars like that beautiful '56 Buick. Yeah. If it strikes your eye, you go for it. Is, is that the feeling I'm getting? Or? Yeah, pretty much. If I if I see the picture in my head, I usually take it. <laughs> okay. Any any particular subject matter that's always been a fun thing for you? Uh, urbanscapes. A lot of cityscapes has always been a blast for me because you get so many different variations just from the people being in it, not in it, the different lights and the shadows that's thrown during the day. You, you can make one image look like a completely different image just from the different time of day you take it. I absolutely agree with you. And one last question too. Chicago being an old railroad city from its origin, have you ever had any opportunity to get out and maybe freight yards or other some black and white stuff out there uh, uh, in the past I have um, right now I'm working on a couple new projects with that really I'm trying to get permission to go in some of the old rail yards I was just gonna say that is a big thing now a lot of uh, homeland security and everything else you can't get close to a railroad like you used to right that's what the real challenging part is so I've been uh, messing around with some of the like just on beyond the tracks instead of the rail okay. yard yeah um, sure. I've had some good success with it um, not ready to sell it yet, just want to make sure I get it fine down to the details and if I like the image first. Great. Well, Carl, I want to thank you for stepping up to the mic today and uh, sharing your artwork with us. Appreciated your time and uh, good luck with all future endeavors whenever you show your stuff and of course the graphic arts business too. Thank you. Okay. Stay with us. We're going to wrap things up right here at the Vote Visual Arts Center in Tinley Park. You'll notice I painted my whole face. <laughs> if it ain't got you, hair you, on it, you it's got to leave paint. this conversation. That's all I got to say. Anyway, okay, laughter, fun, and everything else that was all had today, uh, along with some seeing some great artists. So we've rendezvoused again with the curators here of uh, the Boat Visual Arts Center, which uh, is actually owned by the Park District. Is yes, that correct? It is. Yes, okay, it is. so. Uh, Kudos to the Park District for keeping a venue like this up, thriving, and running. Thank you. Yes, and, uh, you don't find this everywhere. No, you do not. And uh, what's, this is a gem in the south suburbs because a lot of times you see this kind of stuff on the north side. But you know what, folks? There's artists down here, too. Oh, and yes, they're, there And they're are. pretty darn good ones, let yeah. me tell you. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, you better believe it. So uh, we were going to say goodbye to our followers and fans and watching this. I thought you might want to do a shout out to and reiterate again some All right, upcoming yeah, events. Yeah, thank you so much again for, for enjoying our little piece of this day with us. Uh, again, the, the uh, gallery is located at 17420 South 67th Court in downtown Tinley Park. And uh, every month we have a different show here. July, August, and September have jazz on Friday nights, the first Friday. And um, it's all free. Everything we do here is free. So come and enjoy the exhibits, enjoy a reception, enjoy our concerts, and uh, we hope to see you. And, and if you want to participate in anything, you know, or if you are an artist that's interested, my name is Julie Decker, and I'm the gallery director, and you can call at 
309-4371 if you're interested in anything that has to do with the gallery. I'd love to talk to you. And at that, I couldn't sum it up even more unless you have a thought there, sir. You're uh, not your never caught for words, but you a know. A thought? I have a thought? I could have a thought? There's this was one. new. There's oh, wait, whoa! Open oh, out! Oh. They're not the other side. Oh. Well, we almost we'll, had it. We will go back on the air if that thought should return. Yes, if it, well, you know, we wait here long enough, it goes around the world. <laughs> and it comes and it back. It comes back. So we'll preempt whatever is on next in case his thought comes back. So. At that, thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. See you Thank soon. You. Bye bye. Bye. The summer